today I'm at the most fantastic haberdashery shop called William G. Apparently William G as a haberdashery business has been around for 110 years but it's been in this location for 60 years. Now, I've actually never been here before so I am extremely excited. Let's go and have a look. It was your great great grandfather. Great grandfather that pound up with William. With William G. G. Yeah, with William G. and his sons. Okay. And um, eventually, he basically took over the business. And uh, then in 1988, my father joined. And then, um, so he's been running it. He's been running it, and, and that's uh, you. That's right. Great. And so your customers. So your customers like a real mix of. Of uh, designers, what what are the customers, uh, typical customers? We have a range of design, a range of customers, ranging from local designers to sort of big fashion houses. But it's okay for the general public to come yeah, here too. Yeah, general public come here. Um, we've got, you know, warehouses. Sort of, I'll show you around in a yeah. bit. We've got warehouses where kind of trade come. Have a little look here first, if that's yeah, right. yeah. That so okay? this is yeah, this is basically the retail for, for retail. Okay. And uh, I've got everything from, you know. Zips. Zips you spoke a lot about zips. Yeah, well, we've got a fully got a stocked YKK department, which I'll take you to. In, in, so in YKK are like top zips in the world, would you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, they are the yeah. best. I think 50, over 50% 50 of all manufactured zips are YKK zips. Um, are they like a China thing? Um, they are a Japanese thing. Oh, Japanese. Yeah. Look at these zips, they're amazing. Yeah, these zips are actually glow in the dark zips. Unfortunately, no you can't way. Do now, but so hang on, yeah. all of those and those or, or just those I ones? I believe just these ones. I, I think these are just fluorescent. And fluorescent. they're also open-ended? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, we've got a, a bit of a zip range here. Oh, invisible zips, open-ended, with colour. Waterproof, yeah? Wow, look at those! What is this stuff? We've got a range Sorry. of things in. Oh, this what is, is glitter, this? glitter cards. So this is. It is fabric. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. It's it's fabric covered in glitter. It comes in loads of different um, shades. Um, <laughs> we have wow. we've got shade cards full of this stuff. So how much are they ish? Do you buy um, per A4 thing? You buy per, per A4 by the meter. Wow, that's amazing for doing letters mm. on on leather I mean, we clutch know, bags. People have, yeah, exactly. People have bought oh, bags. Oh God, and you've got different grades of. Uh, yeah. I can make a clutch bag with an A4 piece of this on one side and leather on the other, and it's only going to cost me about. Did you say four quid? Four pounds. Three plus VAT. Including VAT. Including VAT. Three fifty. I'll be getting some of that. <laughs> So I said to them, have you got any elastic? So let's see what sort of elastic they have. I have to say, I saw in the window a slightly amazing elastic, the smocked elastic with the frill on the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got plenty of it. And we've got such a huge range of elastic. Oh, look at all the coloured elastics. Yeah, we've got round elastic, flat elastics, wow. in, in loads of different widths. So, so if someone came into this shop and they couldn't see what, what they wanted in the shop, is there like a catalogue or something that they could there, there isn't so much a catalogue, we, we kind of run in a more traditional sense, a bit like a plumbing shop, where you where you come in and you ask any one of the sales assistants what you know what they need and they, they, they ask for it and we go to the warehouse and, 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 and you'll go, go fetch find it. it. Wow. Much, yeah. Oh that's so old fashioned and yeah. lovely. Yeah. Okay, he's a bit embarrassed about it, but he said we can go and film in the warehouse. So I think we should say yes and come on, let's go and have a look. So we are lucky, not a lot of people get to come here. So if you don't know already, William G are massive online as well. So you can order from anywhere in the world? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Anywhere in the world, by email, on the, online, so by phone. So there you go. You even, even, even by fax. Even <laughs> by fax. <laughs> Still doing faxes. So you do this okay. Way. Look, scary door. I'll show you what's in it. It's our small wares department. 
small wares. You said small wares. So it's basically haberdashery notions, woven elastics. Oh, shame it's not smell-o-vision. <laughs> oh, it it's... smells like my grandfather's cellar in Italy. <laughs> Yeah, we've got all sorts of buckles and uh, bits and bobs here. We've actually been cl clearing out loads of things recently, but these are these are pretty much our, our buckles. Look, these, so make a note of that code. Is that the code, the reference number? Yeah, two, five, Right, make a note of all of that, because these are very, very difficult to get. I spent quite a long time getting such big D rings, so chunky as well. Okay, do you remember these when you were at school, those lovely kind of belts? Or maybe if you were a nurse, can't believe they do those as well. This is pretty much for trade. So, okay, so it's bulk quantities. So it's bulk quantities that go out, you know, elastics ranging from all sorts of sizes and okay. widths. And okay, you don't often see zips like these anymore. So these are vintage zips and he's trying to get rid of them. Okay, this is an opportunity. So Adam just said he's selling a bag of zips. How many do you reckon? About Ish. 15, 20. Oh, 15, 20 vintage. Okay, they're vintage zips for how much? For a pound. Pound? Yeah. He's selling these for a pound a bag. In all sorts of colors, all sorts of lengths. Amazing. Yeah. Look, we're going out another door now. This place is enormous. So, oh, look. so this is where we had people. Now Janet runs it. Um, Hello, the, Janet. The, Hello. Hello. I'm Tree. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, she looks after all the sewing needles, the pins, uh, the seam bindings, the bias binding, the every, everything to do with small wares and haberdashery. Bias bindings in every colour possible. And it really is. And do you do different widths? Or we do it... different widths, yeah. We range from, I believe it's 19 mil to, uh, sorry, 13 mil to 25 mil. Uh, and we go into our pattern room. So what's this? Uh, this is a, a button cover machine. So it's oh, basically to make, to make covered buttons. Um, we used to use these, we still do every so often. This here is a button counter so you'd put a button in here one button in here and it would weigh it and then you'd put a hundred buttons in here so people would oh, buy it by the hundred so and you know how many are in there yeah exactly and then it and then it measures it here it lines it up with a with wow. a line and uh that's sort of old-fashioned it's very old-fashioned we've been using it for about 60 years or Great. so probably longer and it still serves us today so Right, Shingo should come here because look, they've got everything for doing my brilliant or his TR pattern cutting. So we've got uh, French uh, curves. curves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. we've got French curves, all shapes and sizes, and we've got this designer tape. And I didn't know what that was, but what it is is for marking out on the dressmaker's dummy all the critical points. So can I get one of those actually? Of course you can. Yeah, so I'll be getting one of those. The next thing we're going to see uh, is what's above here. So it's basically going back, Go in, going back in time. Yeah, we've got about two, three floors of small wares and zips and okay. all sorts of crazy fashion Brilliant. design things. Okay, look, it's another door and we're going up. Cool, it is a bit dusty. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. So we're now up on the... We're above the haberdashery department. Okay. Every, you know, extra elastics and, yeah. and it's basically our overspill. Right. Um, and elastics and threads and these are loads and loads of boxes of zips. Really old ribbon. Yeah. Wow. Oh look, we've got another bit here. Yeah. So we're in Gutemann threads? Yeah, you're kind of in the Gutemann world right now. The, the, the loads of sewing threads here. Again, this isn't actually our sewing thread or our zip department. This is just Your overspill. Your overspill, yeah. Another door. See, look, staff only. We are privileged. So what's in here? So here is the um, sewing thread and zip department. Sewing thread and, and zip, zip it's department. It's like being at your granny's. It's like being at your granny's, isn't it? Look at this. These nice tiles. Nice coat. So we've got a bunch of different commuters there. What? What yeah. did you say? We've got a uh, commuter cones here. So it's a type of thread from coats. Um, you mean the, the industrial cones? Yeah. This is the YKK zip department, which is... Christmas. Which is run by Debbie. Hello, Debbie. Oh, yeah. Are you the zip expert? I am, yeah. Oh, you've been yeah, here for how many years? 
17. 17 years, oh wow. Yeah. So, if you need a zip, Debbie's the person. So, if I said to you, lime, green, open-ended zip, would that be something that you have? No, I would say khaki green is something that we've got. Okay, yeah. okay. But others can be ordered in. We only keep like a stack, um, eight standard colours. Right. That most people take. Yeah, and sure. Be ordered in most people don't order different. weird lime green, no. do they? Now? We're off to the um, peace More. goods department. The what? The what? The peace goods department. What does that mean? So every, it, all the pattern papers, uh, massive oh, rolls of lining and interlining. Okay. Um, oh, lovely! Cards. Peace goods. Let's go and look at the peace goods. Look at that. Yeah. So what's that then? That is a. Uh, Pattern paper and manila card that's just been delivered. Oh, we usually get, uh, sort of every Tuesday, we get five miles of calico that gets delivered. Five miles yeah. of calico? And, and then Shingo's the... heaven, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So I'll show you inside. Uh, at the moment, it's just a warehouse full of rolls and linings and interlinings and pattern papers and manila cards. Hello, hi, hi. Dave and Pete, they run the... Uh, Dave and Pete or Dave and Pete? Dave, Dave, oh, Dave, Dave, Pete. Oh, Pete and Dave. Yeah. These two work extremely hard That's running well this done, department. Well done, yeah. <laughs> It'll be Christmas soon. <laughs> um, so, here we stock all sorts of linings and interlinings. The pattern papers, here we go. So this is Spot and Cross. So we okay. just had a delivery of Spot and Cross paper. Yeah, which is really 48 expensive. Inch. These are the 60, 60 inches. We've actually got the uh, the most competitively priced Spot and Cross paper in the country. You don't know that off the top of your head, do you? I see, pretty much. Uh, a roll is £29 no. X VAT. No, no, it yeah. can't be. Can, well, Other people charge 99 quid. No. That's what we'll, we do. We'll look, we'll look when yeah. we get back to the shop. Yeah, I can't believe do. that. Definitely do. I'll be getting some if it is. Oh. Yeah, these are all our uh, cards. Uh, Manila cards in pink, um, in buff, in blue. What's it in... for a roll of cards? Do you know? Uh, a roll of card, I believe, is 38 pounds. That's good. For... Yeah, how many meters, it's... actually? I'm saying that's good. It will say on there. I don't remember offhand. I should know. 70 meters. 70 meters, yeah. that's good. Yeah. yeah, all sorts of interfacings, violin interlinings, that kind of stuff. Toilet paper. Yeah, God knows why. <laughs> but it's here. Um, the majority of this stuff here, actually, we give away to sort of charities and schools. Why? Because um, every so often we get local charities and local schools that want some. So we just give it to oh, them. Oh, that's really kind. This is Jeffrey, and is. this is Adam's dad, who's going to yes. know historically a lot about William G. So t tell us the story. What's the story? The story? William G. William G. started in 1906, 1900. just over the road where Arthur's Cafe is. Okay. And uh, as they then supplied all the local factories in the area, they needed more space, they came over here and, and over the years, over the decades, they expanded more and more. So were there not, was, was there more manufacturing in the area Yes, there was, um, throughout the 20th century, there was a lot of manufacturing in this area, in Hackney, yeah. and, but also in North London, in the East End of course. They're, they're, fortunately, we're in this area, there are quite a number of there them. There are, aren't there? Um, I mean, we don't realise that they, they are yeah, here. We assume no. that they're based abroad in that. No, 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 they're no, in, no. In Dalston. No. In, they're in Dalston. Yeah. Um, and... Can you think uh, of any names? Yeah, I mean, um, local, local to here, there's Mary Katransu. Oh, Alexander really? Alexander McQueen is not far. Wow. Um, in Clerkenwell. There's J.W. Anderson, just up the road. Wow, they Peter are massive Pi names. Peter Pilotto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, They're really Jonathan significant. Saunders. Yeah. Um, Erdem. Really? Who? Gareth Pugh. Yeah. Gareth Pugh is 
has, yeah. has a studio just around the corner. And they come into <laughs> the shop all the time. Do they? Um, and, and we supply them and their factories Great. with uh, all the products that they need for making their clothes and garments. Thank you so much, Adam. Very Thank you very much. I feel so, so lucky that you've shown us around all your kind of rabbit warren of uh, warehouse and that. So remember that William G is available online or you can come to, what's the number? 520 Kingsland Road. 520 Kingsland Road, Dalston? Dalston. Dalston. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. See you again really soon. Bye.